so a lot of new things to cover and I'll start off with the basic ones so first off with the main menu now of course like it's still pretty much the same and similar um, when it begins creates the widget adds to viewport sets the input shows the cursor but now it executes a console command where it automatically sets the default res for 1920 by 1080 um, there's been some touch-ups so as well so got the object pickup loop the interact as well with our lean in left and right which has been added um, base UI red vision is actually now working so um, not sure if I showed that in the previous one but I will be adding more settings to this soon as well but essentially got the pause selection screen as well which is all set just as a recap got the flashlight we also have our open and closed door functions so I'll just save that but now we also got some new screens so which I will show for our UI <clears throat> so this has been organized a lot more now so we've got our content we've got this media playlist game startup and new level sequence which is getting refined um, our assets are currently removed I remove them as I kind of accidentally deleted a lot of the base level um, however I have fixed up a couple of other things as well so if I I've been playing around with this UI material lab so it's got all the different materials but if we go into widgets and then pages no not pages uh, components so we have about achievements continue controls level select new game options quick game so just to run through them quickly I wonder if I uh, yes just open all of these quickly just to quickly show some of the new changes that have been implemented with our UI settings so with this now it has a animation for our buttons which is a image when it's hovered it's got a red tint with the green to create this darker blue feel but if I go all the way down to the bottom for the hitbox so these actually sets text creates the animation plays it forward and reverse if it's valid creates the about menu widget then all these ones are the same as well so I go to hitbox but this one creates achievements menu widget um, continue creates so it opens test level um, controls actually creates the controls menu widget as to be expected um, level select is still a thing that's currently being refined upon so on clicked it creates the level selection UI widget and gets the mouse position on viewport so this one still needs some work um, with new game opens test level options creates options menu and then of course quit game quits the game but I also touched up some things inside of the project settings so now we got the image with the description copyright notice company name distinguished name home page as well as licensing terms um, maps and modes has been set as well but we also got spooky intro vid fame of the collector add in 
Um, so there's been quite a lot of additional work put into this. Windows, we actually set up, so it runs on SM6, SM5 for D3D11 targeted shader with DirectX 12, default compiler, and the editor splash, game splash, game icon has been updated. We got our callback buffer size for 1920 as well. <coughs> so there's also more widgets now. So if I go into UI and menus, we got our about menu. We have our about menu characters. We have our about menu story, which you can scroll in. So that does scroll in game. So on the note of this as well, so hovered is of course white, which I am going to actually adjust the tint to black and then save that. So we got the about menu team as well. So it has the team there. We also got our new and improved achievements menu. So didn't worry about the NA stuff because it's not necessary. Um, controls menu still needs refining, of course, which it is getting refined very slowly, but surely. Um, <coughs> our dev screen still the same. Um, this will be getting touched up as well. You can tell I also went with a bit more of a flat base, so I changed it to permanent marker font. Uh, we got our new main menu as well, so it looks a lot prettier. It's got these nice sleek animations, but we got this nice new art created for it as well. Um, so I'll just close all of these off. Um, we also have our options menu. So these are actually set up as individualized menus now. So they're all set in stone. So I'll just drag him up there and we got our new pause menu widget. I've set it to the middle and didn't worry about setting pause because it's pretty obvious that it's paused. And our red vision, which I have upped the tone with the reds. So keep options menu open while I switch over to our options menus. So we got our anti-aliasing settings. So it's all pretty much the exact same code, but of course with the unnecessary ones taken out. Um, we got the screen mode as well. We have our screen resolution. We have our shadow quality. We also have our textures. And we have our view distance. So it's all set in stone. I felt like these tones felt nice, clean, sleek, nice. Um, with all of the textures being in here, the new ones imported. So about, about crop. This one we can take out because that one's unnecessary. Um, same as that one, that one can go now. We can take away that one now. So everything's slowly coming together. Of course, our controls menu needs to be changed. I really do like this new image for the main menu. It's clean, it's sleek, and it's not as basic as the other one was. <coughs> but we have the options menu here as well. Our pause screen, I decided to keep the same because the dark aesthetic just, it feels nice. Um, but there's been a lot of content added to this. I created this new folder, so it has the assets, with the new lights. We got our audio soundtracks here as well. So I've got to re-enable Spooky Soundtrack. So that one's actually really easy to do. So in main menu world, I can literally just go. So once it sets the res, it can play sound at location. 
and then we can actually create a delay. So it has a delay of, let's go 0 0.02. Then if I type sound, I can <coughs> remove the sound. So let's see if I can. So it's got all these different sound options that we can implement as well to either play the sound or remove the sound. So one thing that we can actually do, <coughs> since the audio plays sound at location, I'll show you what has essentially been corrected. But in our maps levels, we now have our test level, which I will show in the next one, um, our main level, which I can also show in the next, but with our gray box testing, there was a slight hiccup to where I erased everything and I've just created this very dark plane. So it's very dark, gloomy, just doors. I'm just gonna set this as a wasteland kind of area. So this will be getting touched up. But if we actually access the level blueprint in here, so it plays the sound of location, delays, destroys actor. So we can snag that. We can go back into our main menu world, open the level blueprint here. Let's just control V and now we have that command. So after it executes the console command and destroys the actor, we can just keep it at that. Or better yet, let's just alt click here. We're gonna drag these three right before the start. So <clears throat> hopefully this works here. So we'll get that in there. We'll slide that over a bit there. We'll get that there and we will actually adjust this sound. So where's our spooky soundtrack? Let's see if it can find, there we go. Spooky soundtrack, compile, save. And now when we start main menu world, we have this nice little load up as well. We have this nice little video intro. So it's just nice and basic for the time being. You know what? Let's actually remove that because I'm going to disconnect these two and I'm going to quickly move them at the end here and I'm going to slightly change it. So, because we got that nice main menu, executes. But let's see if we can loop set loop there we go so that's going to create it into a loop is it Oop. blend space play opinion sound valid so we'll just go promote a variable and then there we go <coughs> now it's got that loop skip the video as well and much better welcome to the game
please see the settings bar. And that you will see later.